confidently against a Welsh defence, missing the services of Belgian-born Pat van den Howe. Here's Aldridge showing nice control, followed up with an ambitious attempt to score. The Welsh, who had Joey Jones back as captain, winning a record 69th cap, took the lead. Phillips corner, a flick on by James, and Ian Rush, with whom Aldridge has so often been compared, getting what transpired to be the winner. Jack Charlton was becoming more and more concerned with the uneven state of the pitch, which the Irish rugby union team also used. With the ball bobbling about, Aldridge could count himself unlucky on that occasion. But nowhere near as unlucky as the Welsh. No blame whatsoever was directed at Aldridge, whose challenge it was led to that awkward tumble by Everton's goalkeeper Neville Southall. The result, severe damage to the ankle ligaments as well as a dislocation. A really sickening fall, the ankle turning almost at right angles. He was stretched off and has no chance of playing again until next season. A blow to Wales, but an even bigger setback to Everton's prospects in the League and Cup. What was his version of the incident? And me and John all just challenged for the ball, and as I landed, I just went over on it. I think it was nothing to do with John, it was just the pitch. It was a terrible. The players weren't very happy with the surface today, um, and it does inhibit players in the way they approach the game. You can't do things confidently in an instant when you've got to worry about the ball bobbling all over the place and it does bobble around a bit on this this surface here uh, it could have done today with a bloody good rolling and flattening out we don't mind holes but we do object to bumps